Hey up mother lovers, I bet you've been wondering where the hell has Ben got to. January is never a good month for me. The dark mornings, dark evenings, it's pretty much spent in bed. And what with everything else that's going on, it was pretty difficult to find any motivation. Anyway, Cecil V, the days are getting lighter. Some of you know the barn that my workshop is in is being sold. I've nowhere to go, nor store my tools, nor the money. I still want to do the things I really enjoy doing, and that's making stuff and filming it and editing it. Making furniture, I don't make any money from it. My pieces of furniture don't sell. They're all above us. So my last idea really is an idea I don't think you're going to like. I need to go to a subscription base. If I could just get at least 10% of you guys to sign up to my Patreon, the basic tier is less than the cost of a pint a month. Why? Best of all, you can watch my videos ad-free. Why? No, go to the director's cut, basically. Unlike YouTube, there are other tiers on my Patreon page. You know, check it out. My whole um, library is there. I can't carry on working for free. If you fear that you can't watch Patreon on your TV, you can. You can um, airplay it from your device to the TV. That's what I do. Anyway, any of your support, I'd be most grateful for. Um, let's get on with the video. Be lucky. I've been asked to make a video about aging wood. You know, what makes me tick why I choose the methods I choose. So uh, here it is. There's various ways. There's staining, there's the old vinegar trick, which is more smoke and mirrors than a good idea in my opinion. And then there's fuming with ammonia. Here I'm using the vinegar idea. It's old footage before I knew any better. I'm having to use tannin tea to get this result too. The results are just too hit and miss otherwise. Without it, I'd say nine times out of ten, it does, the oak doesn't go jet black. And add to that, that's also two lots of water-based products needed to evaporate before I can even think of adding any wax oil finish. That can take weeks. Why would you f*** about wasting your time on making the solution with wild oil and vinegar and making the wood wet? I mean, saturated wet. That's a problem. If you want to ebonize any species of wood, use in the unique period. I used to burn the wood to get that black effect, but then that inherits loads of other issues like failed joints, splits, etc. Glue joints failing. Most of that's just because you want a dark piece of furniture and you can't really afford to spend a bloody fortune on wenge to build the, your cabinets out of. I'm sure you can buy MDF clad with a dark species of wood. I'm not a big fan. Ebonizing oak it is affordable. Fuming oak with ammonia is affordable and you'll get a nice deep dark brown walnut colour with fuming. Staining for me is a last option. It's only the woods that don't have the tannic acid inside them that obviously have to reach for the, the stains of the dyes. Aging wood falls into two categories for me. Just to speed up the process of the aging and get that look as soon as possible or it's just a colour choice. As you can see here from the oak that it, it's just not going very walnutty is it? And that's uh, water based stuff. What the f is that? That's not a walnut colour that's verging on a charcoal grey to me. What that is. I'm really not a fan of anything water based. I prefer the spirit dyed stuff. My friends across the pond do have a much better selection of uh, stains and dyes and are certainly much more superior quality than what we've got here. But I'm f***ed if I'm spending three times the price on their stuff to get it shipped over here and everything else. Stains inherently have their, their own problems too. Water based for the clues in the name. It's like a coat. It's watery. It doesn't seem to lay colour down. It's so much like a transparent wash. For this video, I just happen to have a tube of water based stain. All of the others I've tried over the past, I've, they've gone in the bin of waste of time. The spirit based stain I have here and I'm using here is by far the best I've ever used as stains go. But it, it does have its own problems in the fact that when you're putting the second coat on, you you can easily lift the pigment that's left behind from the first coat. You don't want to f*** about too much with it. You, you want to lay that second coat down. You want to get in and get out well with it. Don't try and paint a Picasso out of your ink. And you must apply that second coat when it's as dry as a nun's crutch. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f*** is that? I don't know how long I've had that stain, so I can't really explain why that is pretty much black. Well, crap. 
I don't know what's going on with this walnut stain. I use those air quotes. It doesn't look like walnut, does it? It's not applying like water stain either, even though it says it's water based. It's applying like it's a sort of a cream. What a complete waste of time. I've lost all the grain. It's, it's, I might as well have just painted the wood. What's a load of sh Water based paint you just don't seem to get a good second coat with. Kind of looks very slight shade more darker than the first coat. You can see with the second coat of walnut, now that's been left to dry for 12 hours, it's slightly lifting the stain because I'm playing with it too much. The best thing to do is walk away, let it dry, come back to it. If you want that colour like I got on my wall hanging tool chest and workbench, you will need to uh, use this all based decking stain, which takes forever to dry by the way. The beauty of fuming with ammonia is the colour is even. It doesn't go darker around the joints, you know, like stain does, where the build-up is in the corners. You don't get that. Overall, it's just a very even, consistent colour, which is fantastic, in my opinion. It's also easier to do than stains. Fair enough, it's a bit more of a ball ache in the sense of there's a lot more prep and the time it takes to do it. It's not going to happen overnight, unfortunately. The story is behind aging wood this way, which is pretty much known as the traditional way. As makers were wondering why all their wood was uh, going dark, because it was left in a cow shed, and it was the fumes from the cow that were turning the wood. That's how this came about. The ball ache of uh, uh, fuming is you've got to set up a space where you're going to be doing this fuming. You don't want to set it up in your workbench. Um, I think you're going to use the workshop for the next week while this process is taking place. Best to do this in another room where nobody's going to be bothered, away from other, you know, your wood supplies. Well. If this is going to be a hall table or a bed frame or something, you're going to need to make up your own type of tent. I mean, you can use CLS stud work uh, and make a frame and then just cover it with dust sheet you know the plastic dust sheets and tape it all down and keep it as sealed as possible throw over some blankets and um, walk away check it every day so you get to, to, to the color you need you can use whatever you like you can use tupperware boxes when you are doing this though do bear in mind when you view it every day and you're thinking of the color what you see in front of you it might look a little bit green don't worry about that but when you put a, like a wax oil or any finish over the top it's probably going to double in darkness do bear that in mind so if you want a really deep dark sort of black chocolate when you're seeing it look like walnut you're going to get that kind of color that dark chocolate color as you can see here when you ding the wood that's been fumed with ammonia you can't see the original species of wood color coming through the reaction of the ammonia and the tannic acid in the wood gives you a color depth of about five or six mil depends how long you you fume it for of course this will work on any wood that has tannic acid in it but to what degree who knows, you'll have to experiment yourself. I can tell you firsthand that even words people say has got a similar amount of tannic acid in it as to oak um, has completely failed. I mean, it's only just changed the, sh changed the shade, um, such as beech. Oak seems to be the one that is the best. But then saying that, I've had French oak, which is incredibly boring to look at. And again, that's hardly changed in any colour when I've done the fuming process with that you know there's 600 species of oak on the earth so the chances of you having a tree from one lumber yard and an oak tree from another yard being the same pretty much zero i know i've milled logs from one farm i've gone across the road and got a log from another farm and those two logs look completely different the reaction to the ammonia will be different too it's best if you could have all of the wood out of the same tree if you're making two you really want all of the wood out it only come from the same log to get you the best overall look the downsides to ammonia though and i have learned a lot hard way on this one a couple of occasions when you do all your joinery and you're gluing it up and you don't get rid of that excess glue or you think you have you've wiped it off it's gone then you come to stain it with ammonia that excess glue that's sunk into the wood that's like a, a barrier to the fumes and you get all of this ugliness going on which is there's no great way around it you've got to sand it back and start again the other thing is you don't want any sap wood in your cuts because that also as you can see there is grinning at me like a chassis cat as it doesn't react with the ammonia the ammonia you need is industrial strength 33 percent ammonium hydroxide solution 33 to 34 percent five liters is about 25 quid in the uk i used to buy mine from ebay but i've noticed they've they no longer stock it so i have to get it from a chemical supplier you won't get it from the chemist you won't get it from your lo local builders you know uh, b and q big box stores as you call it over there across the pond 
you will get funny looks when you go into a chemist and ask them for five litres of ammonia. They probably think you're make, making bombs, possibly even report you to the old bill. Now, I'm not a gambling man, so I still use the tannin tea with any fuming I do. And again, the, the, the results will vary on the species of wood you're using. But the tannin tea for me, I'm not so fussed about it being water and adding that to the wood because it's going to be there probably for six, five, seven, eight days. So the wood will dry it enough for uh, any finish I'm going to apply. But also once the fuming's done and you get it out of that tent, you're going to want to leave it to sit probably as equal amount of time that you've been fuming it for to off gas. When you pull it out of that tent and you stand next to it, you're going to be, oh, hell, that stinks. I've got to get out of it. It's burning my eyes. And again, don't get it out of wherever you've been fuming it and say, put it on your workbench. Because when you come back to it the next day and you look at your workbench, where it's been sitting, you're going to have an outline like a, you know, in um, when they, when they drop the nuclear bomb, there's still the shadows of, of uh, the people from the blast and the extreme light that's exactly what it's going to look like on your bench where you've left that piece of furniture that you've fumed it's going to change the colour of your bench once it's all off gassed and you can stand next to it and not smell anything you might not be happy with the colour you can still add more to it if you like if you wanted more of a reddy brown add red stain if you wanted a yellower brown or an orangey brown add whatever you like to it it makes no difference if you use water based or solvent based on it it doesn't affect the base color from the direction of the ammonia the nice thing about the ammonia is disposing of it once the fumes have gone you're basically left with nothing but water pour over the flower bed after all it is just a fertilizer to make the tannin tea that's easy just, you can buy that off of amazon you just need a mixing cup stereo stick and some boiled water to let that cool down so it doesn't melt the, the mixing cup i literally just throw in a couple of t- uh, tablespoons in there I, I don't measure it it should literally look like weak tea uh, and that will be sufficient use it wipe it on with a brush you can go straight to the fuming if you like but if you have to pick up your workpiece and it's saturated with the tannin tea you're obviously going to remove some of that tannin tea to your fingers so when you put it into your fuming tent do wipe on some more tannin tea so the coverage of tannin tea is nice and even and don't be like me carry the workpiece through rain into your tent because you'll be left with white dots all over it where the rain has watered down the tannin tea now you know you do need your ppe for this you can do it without it i wouldn't suggest it i mean if you've got a block nose it won't be after a little whiff of that i can assure you and it does feel like it's burning your eyes this isn't the household stuff i'm using here this is the full-on full monty the dog's bollocks stuff a a dust mask won't cut it a full face mask that would be ideal because it will protect your eyes Um, i tend to sort of pour it in and keep my head as far away as possible when i'm doing it Um, but the rest respirators an absolute must you know i use charcoal filters on my respirator because it also protects me against um isocyanates from painting if you can smell it or taste it when you're wearing a mask that mask isn't working put it that way so the results after three days without the tannic tea the brown oak before and after then I hit it with a bit of water to mimic whatever finish i'll never do this with brown oak i just want to see what it'd be like the Spalty Beach, I was surprised by this. Never had much luck with beach before. Like I said, though, you've got to test what you want to age. I like it, though. It alleviates that <laughs> yellow you get with beach when you put hit it with a stain. And, of course, the main man, the oak. Well, that's epic for three days. You see what I mean, though, about the finish? It's gone, like, at least twice the darkness, isn't it? The ash, not really a surprise. It's changed slightly in colour. It's a bit of a shame that there's that colour streak running through it, which kind of throws the results off a bit. Well, there you have it. I hope that helps someone. Now go away and have some fun with this. Please, let's see some results.
So if you like the cut of my jib, please like and subscribe. Share if you're really feeling kinky. And uh, we'll see each other again. Be lucky.